I'm in a Mercedes AMG S63. That is a BMW M760 Li. I'm rear wheel drive, his all wheel drive, but hey, we can have a drag race anyway. Now, for more videos like this, click on our logo to subscribe to our channel and make sure you hit the bell icon so you're notified when we make a new upload. Right then, let's get it on. start by me. A little bit of traction issues. He hasn't got any. I bet it's close. He's going to take it. Oh, that was close though and it was just down to that little bit of added traction that he had, but once I was going, didn't really, really matter. There was nothing in it. Now, all you non-UK viewers may be crying foul and wondering why the heck didn't we use the all-wheel drive S63? Well, we only get the rear-wheel drive version here in Britain, so sorry about that. And anyway, it was pretty close. The 135,000 pounds, 609 horsepower, 6.6 .6 litre V12 BMW covered the standing quarter mile in just 11.3 seconds. Whereas the 125,000 pounds, 612 horsepower, 4 litre V8 Mercedes took 11.5 seconds. To negate the fact that this is two wheel drive and that is all wheel drive. Let's have a more realistic race, the kind that you have out on the road. So cruising along 50 miles an hour in comfort mode, as you would do, you wouldn't be in sports, you wouldn't be doing it manual, you'd be in fully auto, comfort mode, cruising. Someone challenges you and you put your foot down. So you wanna see how quick the gearboxes respond and how fast the engines pick up. So I'm gonna count it in. Three, two, one, go. My gearbox kicked down a bit faster. What's happening here? Oh, this is exciting. I think this Mercedes just has the legs over the BMW and it's pulling a lead. That's enough of that, gonna break here. That is a win for the Mercedes. In terms of gearbox, this seemed to kick down a little bit quicker, but then <laughs> didn't get on the power so well, but it just seemed to get a lead out over that BMW. Such a strong engine, even though the engine in the BMW is about 50% larger in terms of capacity. AMG make brilliant engines. It's a fact. Despite being smaller, the AMG's engine actually has 900 newton meters of torque compared to the BMW's 800 newton meters. And that's why, even though it faltered slightly after kickdown, it managed to pull past the BMW. So the score is now one all. Time for the decider. Right. Now it's time for a brake test from 70 miles an hour, so we're just gonna hold it at 70. When we hit the cone, full emergency stop. See what happens. Oh, that is so close. Oh, I'm gonna have to get out to see. I'm gonna have to get out to see. you know what? I think that is a win just about for the BMW. So close though, that it could be reaction time error. But you have to hand it to the BMW. At 2.2 tonnes, it's 200 kilograms heavier than the Mercedes, so did well to beat it in that brake test, which means overall the M760 wins two to one. If you enjoyed this video, please like it, share it, click on our logo to subscribe to our channel, on the video window for more content or click on the deals button on the right or the link below the video to see how much you can save on a new car at carwow.com.